Alright, so um, I'm uh, gonna go over from the last video, the last couple seconds, because I know I got cut off because I was trying to make it under 10 minutes so I could put it on YouTube. So, um, I'm gonna go over the solo, what we, what we should have so far. Now that's kind of where I, uh, I left off. Um, I said something at like the last couple seconds, but I don't know if you got it, so I'll go over it again. After you do that, you do a hammer on pull off from the 20th fret of the B string to 22nd fret of the B string back to the 20th. So it should be. And then um, you're going to bend up the 19th fret on the B string. And then while that's bent in the air, you're going to hit the 15th fret of the high E string. And then you're going to hit the B string again while it's still bent in the air, and you're going to bring it back down. So it should be. And then after that, um, you're going to bend it up again, the, the 19th fret of the B string. So it should be. And then you're going to do a hammer on pull off, or you could pick them all, it doesn't matter to me, but um, I like to do a hammer on pull off from the 17th fret of the B string to the 19th fret of the B string back to the 17th fret. So it should be. And then um, you're going to hit the 17th fret of the B string again. So it should be. And then you're going to hit the 15th fret of the high E string. And then you're going to hit the 17th fret of the B string. And you're going to do that same exact thing again. So it should be. Once again. Okay, um, you're going to hit the 15th fret of the B string, then the 17th fret of the G string, then back to the 15th fret of the B string. So it should be. And then you're going to bend up the 16th fret of the G string twice. So just like that. So it should be. And then you're going to pluck the 12th fret of the G string. And then you're going to hit the 11th fret of the G string. And then you're going to pick it again and bend it up. And you're going to bring it back down. And then you're going to hit the... Ninth fret of the G string. So, so I'm going to go over that because that was just a little fast. And that's what you should have so far. Once again. Then you're going to hit the seventh fret of the G string. And then right here, um, you're going to pull off from the 5th fret to the 4th fret on the G string. And then you're going to then you're going to finish off the solo on the 5th fret of the D string. So it should be